This photo was taken outside of a King County Metro maintenance facility more than two weeks ago. It has employees scared and searching for answers. Good evening. I'm Mark Wright. I'm Joyce Taylor. Thanks for joining us. King 5's Britt Moore is outside that Tequila facility tonight with their response. A King County Metro employee says that picture of a black statue next to what he believes is a noose was his breaking point. He says other employees are too scared to speak up, so he's risking his job to hopefully spark some change. I am so sick and tired of the gaslighting. Oh, there's no racism. Oh, no, that's not racist. I don't see like nobody sees the same truth. Adam Carlos Ariaga has been a bus mechanic with King County Metro for 12 years. He tweeted this picture Monday, a picture he didn't take but felt compelled to share. He says he had to step up when he saw what appeared to be a statue of a black person next to a noose at the King County Metro South Facility Maintenance Building. I am not an eyewitness. Uh, however, the witnesses are very afraid to, to come forward. King County Metro responded to his tweet saying, quote, we take this very seriously and are conducting a formal investigation. Everyone deserves to feel safe and welcome at work. Ariaga says he didn't want this to get swept under the rug and says this incident speaks to a larger issue at King County Metro. So if like a guy's angry and the N-word slips out, hey, you know, don't worry about it. That's just, you know, such and such. It's just bad. You know, he didn't mean nothing by it. Like, you know, you, you hear stuff like that all, all the time. And if you say something, you become a target and your job becomes miserable. So that is why I spoke up. King County Metro released this statement to King 5 saying the discovery was made June 2nd and quote, the statue was of a person of color and because of its position near a flagpole, it could be interpreted as a racist symbol and form of harassment, neither of which Metro will tolerate under any terms. The statement goes on to say the statue was never hanging or otherwise attached to the flagpole. The cord in the image is in the background and connected only to the cleat of the flagpole where the flag is raised. Ariaga says significant cultural and systemic changes need to be made within his labor union and King County Metro itself. What I would like to see is the union to take racist incidences more seriously. Ariaga and other employees are planning a protest for sometime next week here at King County Metro's South facility. For now, in Tequila, Britt Moore, King 5 News. Today, the King County Board of Health declared racism a public health crisis. We live in a system that is literally killing and suffocating black and brown lives every single day. They're taking away years of life due to chronic disease, burying families in debt due to predatory lending practices and housing policies, and taking away the right to life and health for large portions of our population, especially black and brown people and families don't have access to the healthy environments and neighborhoods where we can all thrive. The declaration allows the release of resources for community organizations to address racism across the county. It also means the board will work to dismantle institutional racism.